Mr. Handsome. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Daniel with Peace and Plenty Homestead. We're going to put the 2x6 trusses that we built earlier laying on the floor. We were able to do the layout. We've got a 7 foot ceiling up to the collar ties. A 12-12 pitch on the front of the house and a 612 pitch on the back and I've got a little uh, one and a half inch gap at the top there for the ridge to set right in there and a two by six uh, placed exactly nine and a quarter inches down so that the two by seven and a quarter inches down so the two by eight can set right on that two by six that the uh, ridge will I sure am thankful for that tractor. I worked uh, construction for many years and never had the advantage of uh, having a tractor like that, but working by yourself, that thing is invaluable. I used the tank, the water tank, just to get things up high enough. The tractor wouldn't quite reach to the top, and then I strapped the trusses down so even though it's wobbling around, the strap is holding the trusses to the tank. It got it up high enough where I could reach over and grab them and pull them in. And you figure it's only two by sixes. One's 10 foot, one's eight foot, and the collar tie is about six foot. So they're really not that heavy. Just gonna unstrap them and wield them up there and into place. The big advantage was to pre-start the screw, the six inch screw. Right here I'm grabbing the drill the screw is already started and just running it down into the top plate. That was the key advantage having those six inch screws to draw the bird's mouth of the two by six up tight to the two by double top plate. Here I am setting the ridge and thankfully it was a good uh, snug fit. It dropped right in there good and tight. Here I had a little bit of trouble on the right side. The gap wasn't quite an inch and a half so I had to uh, pry it apart a little bit and the ridge uh, dropped right down in there. The next day we did our bracing, plumbed everything up. There's a brace there that uh, we put on a 45 degree angle and I had the exact measurement from the floor to the ridge on both gable ends and in the center. I added two 2 by 4s in the center underneath that collar tie to support the center ridge just because that's where the ridge butted into each other and that collar tie height is going to give us a ceiling height of uh, seven foot six inches and the back wall is 78 and a half inches we're going to come back later and add in the windows cut those out and add them in i just decided not to worry about it right now and just framed it up and we'll decide where to put the windows later I put two of the 12-12 pitch 2x6s that were on the front of the house up and then I put two of the 2x6s 6 pitch up on the back side of the house just so that I didn't push that ridge. If you do all of the front, it would uh, push that ridge out of uh, where it wasn't straight anymore. So we just uh, did one at a time. Thankfully, they're, they're good and short. It's easy to do by yourself. I've done plenty of them. 16 foot long by myself, but these little spruce eight footers were no problem. You have to be careful with that nail gun. It'll fool you and let you think that you've put a nail in there and it hasn't. So you don't want to drop any of them on you. You have to double check it. So I kept doing them two by two so as not to push the ridge out of whack with the rest of the, uh, keep it nice and straight. And uh, came back and drilled a six inch screw into each two by six right straight down into the double top plate. I've never done it before with uh, screws like that. Typically, I would toenail it with a nail gun, but that would split the bird's mouth and crack it. So the screw kept it from uh, getting split. Notice I've got the rafter stacked right on top of the studs. Everything lines right up. So when we go to put our hurricane straps on, we'll be able to tie into the 2x6 and tie into the 2x4 right there for extra support. Coming down to the end of the last couple of rafters to put up there. They really went quickly. I think it took about two, two and a half hours to put the uh, trusses up. 
and another two and a half hours to get all the, tr uh, the rafters in place. Now we'll come back and we'll do our blocking and then do our outside rim boards all the way around and then it'll be ready for plywood. Getting the shingles on, getting it dried in will be a huge accomplishment. Then we'll do the gable ends and the house will be dried in, ready for windows. The collar ties, I will put those in, one on each set of rafters to tie the roof together. It's hard to believe I'll be getting heart surgery in about a month, but I feel young in my brain and struggling with heart issues, but we'll get that taken care of. Move on. I want to thank everybody for watching. Like, share, comment. We really look forward to hearing your thoughts on this project. It's a little tiny house for YouTube. It's a cottage for us. We're excited about the way it's turning out. Couldn't be a bigger blessing for us. This is the last one going in. There you go. Appreciate everybody watching. We'll have another video out real soon. Thanks again.